Sega. This is Sonic Chronicles. The Dark Chronicles. Good god, the music is fucking loud. Hold on a moment, just let me, uh, lower the volume on my legitimate th Nintendo DS. certainly sounds. One thing remains a certainty at the height of glory, even with the, for say, the speed with which it was delivered, Professor Trevor Barker, the fourth great civilization. Some time ago, the Trophil Segment's headquarters. Quick, guys, get him. He's mine. Watch out. Let's get him. Haha, <laughs> you may have damaged my new egg carrier, Sonic, but he'll never defeat me. Let's see about that, Eggman. Tells how's it coming. Oh, it's there, Sonic. Mmm, delicious audio by the way. Present day, the other side of the world. Tails got Sonic and Sonic. Hostile Reception. Chapter 1. Okay. Hi, hey, so glad to hear from you. Come here, Tails, what's going on? We're in big trouble, Sock. I've never seen any of this game before. I don't know if you heard, but Knuckles has gone missing, and so have the Chaos Emeralds. A group of criminals called the Marauders and took him. Please, Sock, we need your help. Oh, there's options. So I you know anything about what happened? I was just fighting against some marauders when he disappeared. I'm not really sure who they are, but they're big trouble. Please, Sonic, I'll tell you more when we get there. Why would they take the Chaos Serums? Chaos Serums are probably chance Sonic. Someone who knows how to use them can do just about anything with their power. Remember when you had all seven Chaos Emeralds? Use the power to become supersonic. You were pretty much unbeatable. I remember. Good times. Without knowing who the Marauders are, there's no telling what they'll do with the Chaos Emeralds. We have to stop them. Alright, let's go. Rose is on her way to meet you. Let's find her meet me in a workshop near Central City. Amy? Ugh, why do you need to meet up with her? Well, you know she is. She wanted to meet you halfway and make sure you got here safely. I'll wait for you at the workshop with you on the team I know will save Knuckles. Let's -a go! Icons will appear that indicate that you can interact with things. Interact with objects by pressing the L button or R button. You can also touch the icon that shows the action. Hmm. Mm. 
Ah, uh, oh, hmm. I have to touch the screen. I, I didn't know it would be a bottom screen heavy type thing. I must keep working. Oh, you saw that shock. That's me. I'm so glad you showed up. I've been chopping away. These logs for hours now, and I'm not even close to done. I'm so tired, so I agree someone would help me even if just a little. What do I need to do? Oh, it's easy to discover the wood pile when the action bubble appears. Touch it. He lives in the end of the chop, chop of the wood. Oh, thank you so much, Sonic. Health seed. Thanks. Got an item. Woo boy. Yeah, yeah. Yoshi? He's dead. Uh, I'm just gonna... You know, I'll help you with your chores later, old man. Why do I have to... Alright, I'll chop the wood. I will chop the wood, okay? Oh, you did it. Thank you so much for playing my game. I won't keep you any longer. Take this. Too tired for even pow candy to help me. Nice job, song. Always could take a little time and then help out people. Let's get going. We have a lot of work to do. Mmm. Delicious candy. Ah, Green Hill Zone. We've had some good times here, haven't we, Tails? <laughs> yep. Mandatory in every Sonic game from now on. Good times. Like Eggman turning your animal friends into robots, pitting them against this. Yep, good times. Don't take too much time sightseeing, Sonic. We have to save nuts. Don't worry, Tails. What could go wrong in Green Hill Zone? What could possibly go wrong? Sonic, look out, that armor tool looks angry. I'm on it. Combat is about to begin. Your first option is to attack. Attack will use up all your actions against a single target. Touch your target to select it. <sighs> to choose it. It will appear in a... Yeah, and then, yeah, 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 yeah. No. What is this? Wow, more candy, thanks. That's strange animals in Green Hill Zone, usually. But that armadillo was so mad. Careful out there, Sonic. Oh, that wasn't even a robot. Armadillo. Huh? Sonic, what happened? Someone's trying to block my way. Why would someone do that? Got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, Tails of Fan. Wait through. Good luck, Sonic. Sonic, boy, are you lucky I happen to come along. Totally could have jumped over those boxes, you know. 
But oh wait, no, Amy has a boyfriend now. His name is Dexter. <laughs> of course you could have. Now you don't have to. You have to get the tails, Amy. There's no time for this. Being like that, I just saved you. What are you talking about? You move a lot faster, so it makes sense that you might be a little impatient, even when talking to people. The first response to your bliss always be the fastest way to get you back in the action. Yep. I don't... Choose one of the other times and Donald. Maybe it'll help her. I don't want to make her feel better. But she's a friend, Sonic. I'm sure he's just kidding, Tails. No. A little picture. A little kind. Stay in a little fucking... Nice rush through the next thing. Sometimes we'll be sad, so... What's your favorite color, Tails? Oh, not that kind of question. Essential City. I have a boyfriend now. You know. So I can't do all things. Sometimes you'll have to rely on other part of There we go. That's a bad Nick. It's a bad Nick. Scanning a known creature. It looks like you was a doing I missed this out here. I don't know the command is to so smash it. You have to kill it before... Oh, that just... Oh, oh god, is this mini-games? What does defending do? I'm curious. Oh god, the music. feel like going and switching the screens around. Are you fucking kidding me? No, this is how I, you're gonna have to deal with it. Where I hear some rap noises in this music too. Oh man! Oh man! Imagine like an actual big serious boss fight, like the final boss, and you fucking wipe, and that's the sound that plays. Attack. Defending seems to be working a lot better for me.
Big damage in. Into... One of Eggman's drones can't be too sure, it's too mang. He said stop, it didn't tell me to keep in one piece. And as you're here, you better be careful. Oh shit, wasps. And then in range to aim, 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 go Oh, they s You know, it's fine. Yes, attack and fucking kill me. Wild boar, yes, yes! Give me this, this is a real battle. All right, uh, don't worry, guys, I'm just gonna, uh, I just need to just change a few settings, all right? Just need, you just fix up a few things here and there, you know? D g g listen, okay? I'm gonna get back to Sonic Chronicles, The Dark Brotherhood. Just let me adjust a few settings, okay? So that the game is marginally more playable. Alright? Well, you think I'm nuts? You think I'm cra- you think I'm insane? Well, yeah, I am. I'm freaking nuts. So, okay. Here we go. Sonic Chronicles, I've adjusted a few of the settings, starting over from the top. Alright, so here we are back in Sonic Chronicles. Just have to, uh, just set up a few things, just a few more things.
Well, what are you guys... What are you guys upset at me about? It's Sonic Chronicles, okay? It isn't, a it isn't April 1st anymore. My brother in Christ. Look at the title of the screen. Of the stream, it's belated. It's an out-of-season April Fool's joke. Whew, made it on the train 15... Who the, hell, who the hell is this guy? Made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Hello. My name is... Um... Who the hell's this dude? <laughs> yeah, that's my name. It was written up there already. That's my name. Enter name. Did I spell that right? Of course I did. Hope passengers can read my scribble. Dine dining cutter. Uh oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job, jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, enter name. Shake it off. Ow. Her name, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Ho ho ho, quite alright myself, but feeling a little bittersweet. Is everything alright? Yeah, uh, no, it's not because you're a sweetie, that's the kind of guy and her name is. Trying to butter me up the first day, are we? The last day's my last day's conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you, my wife is very excited about it. She's already got her plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower has been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Fa ha ha! Can see why his wife's excited. Though for my quibbles, today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Thanks. Open the inventory any time to view items I received. I should look over the menu carefully. Hmm. Dining menu. Chili dog. Instant ramen. Chicken cordon bleu. Yep, that's... That's, in fact... What's on there? Why do you look so nervous? All I on the train is a microwave. Ha <laughs> I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay? Fa ha ha. Oh, about the vessel, this is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. Oh yeah, believe me, I know a thing or two about conducting a train. And, you know, fighting... God. At... at once you get to the train's destination. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. 
guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own, so I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? I can't afford to lose this job! You sure can't, the severance pay is lousy! <laughs> Yeah, the character design is pretty good. The doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Hmm. The Mirage Express. Uh, rest of Monster Train opening cutscene. Rest of Snowpiercer intro dialogue, etc. Oh, okay. Who are we getting onto the train? Alright, there she is, she... She's... Oh... Well, she got a birthday cake for a hat. Okay. Wow, this train is incredible, what fascinating tech! You're right, Tails, I could get used to staying on a train like this. Uh, hey, Vector. What? Hey, Vector, what's up with the clothes you're wearing? You got a little bit of a... Got a little bit of a stain on you, Vector. What, what, what's that from, buddy? Buddy, do you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, enter name and cleric of madness. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Uh, Arg, of course, sir. Arg, are you a pirate? Oh no, I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Eh, <laughs> sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have the mountain ready. Tickets, please! Okay, I think I know what his voice is now. You'll show him here today, but you just click on whoever you'd like to talk to and we'll collect the ticket. <laughs> I need to get my special drink. Okay, got it. Ah. I... Totally missed what he said trying to do the voice. Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Happy birthday, Ami. Weather. Hmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Uh, it does for a guess, you know. Train, be sure, enter name only... Train, be sure, enter name only gets one of those if they ask. Did, did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, a train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Uh, go try, young buck. The train and I worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Track. The snacks look really tasty, too. Hmm. So who are we gonna start with? I'm gonna say we start from the furthest to closest and right to left. No cleric. You here. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we could help you with? You sell gift bags here. Uh, oh, uh, so, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That stare, burr, so cold. Just like Monster Train. And her name is Shivering, do you need me to fetch your jacket? <sighs> no, no, I'm good. Hello, my friend, can I get your ticket? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He 
seems to be avoiding eye contact. Something amiss, sir? I seem to have, um, misplaced my ticket. Can you speak up a bit? <laughs> Can you speak up a bit? Into my good ear. I wasn't able to hear that. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Yeah, that would be amazing. Thanks, civilian. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Ribbon, please. Ticket, ticket, please. Of course. Yep. Excellent, thank you. Enjoy your stay with Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him, and a rose. Something that his presence put me at ease. Do you consider me calming? He's looking right at me. He studied ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu, that sounds like a lot of difficult training. Any cling on the walls? Cling on the what, what? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Hmm. Claire, keep it in your pants, please. Oh, 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 fuck! Oh, you two, what can I do for you? Don't oh, worry, man, can we get your ticket? I my, how for? Let me fetch for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Oh, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneaking a twenty dollar bill out of my pocket. Can I have to go to the ask for that back? Oh, this was yours, must have slipped out. Here you go. May not actually be the best judging character. Kibby! May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. Good job for me, I see. Princess, such as myself, as long as be punctual. Princess, did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, you're visiting from somewhere. A uh, separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I prefer the birthday cake from this world more than I own my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, you don't say why. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Can I please get the Grushley Girls ticket? Hey, why, certainly. Thank you, thank you for choosing a fine train for your birth. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. She doesn't love a good bargain. And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. <laughs> Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That locks any door in the train every birthday. Birthday girl gets a birthday key. It's practically traditional. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. <laughs> Take it, please! Thank you kindly, happy to have someone to surround yourself aboard. What? Don't worry about it, I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing, I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he... is he Sark the Hedgehog? I promise you, excellent stay in our train, have fun! Yes, have fun now. Will do, thanks. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank, thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have in port? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way, I brought my own sparkle shelton with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. 
silver sparkled gelatin body. <laughs> eh, absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. You know, normal, see. Sparkle gelatin. Ah, ah, what is this? I'm in the napkin holder. Say, was there someone looking for that ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rifle owner. Make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. It's a sanity seat ticket alone and confused like this. We'll have to return it. We'll return it, I have faith. Here you go. Find anything yet? Well, we... Where'd you hide, dude? <laughs> Holy shit, I Where you picked up? This one. Oh, I'm starved. I'll take one of each. One second, I'll maybe I'll wait a bit. I was afraid of the other thing we picked up. Right, sorry. Ah, oh, there it is, and that's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. Was really worried you kicked me out, and I missed the murder mystery. Oh, the name here would not have their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright, my book. Thanks again for the assistance. Of course, I don't need anything else. They are my condition. How do I get a police get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my girlie. We must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. <laughs> now I need to pick out which clans we have available to fight off the winged. <laughs> uh, I hope... <laughs> I hope it's not Umbra again. <laughs> ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You know everything in your power to make sure I guess have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. 101 cars long. Absolutely, you can count on me. The this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Your sister, I don't know if they need any help, won't you? That's all I need to hear, you have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. <laughs> Don't worry about rocking up the place either. This train is the the hard assistance for dealing with all that. If anything else, please talk to Andrew Dame here if you need it. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all led your, read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty for the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Don't. I must resist the urge to alt-tab and play the sound effect. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course, birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be st stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Yeah, he looks it. He's got the outfit. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff. <laughs> okay. Alright, whatever excuse they have to put the hat from the thing on him. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it, the fast food saloon. Who's your business tycoon? Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Uh, uh, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher. Oh, that explains it. An SBO the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, SBO? We get to hang out together. And do what, read? Maybe we could make a tower of books or something. 
Shadow's the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. I have a feeling that maybe Shadow might have been switched his roles with someone at the last moment, maybe. Hmm. Last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yeah. Uh, I was listening and I hope that's okay. Or no, right? You can help ensure everyone's following their rules. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Every station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There's a murderer. I couldn't resist. I can't resist. I'm sorry. Kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, your station. Yep, here I am at the microwave. Ah, this is so exciting. The mystery's unfolding right under our very noses. I know, it's kind of scary. Or goo 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 bump. G -g -g yeah, goo bump. Same. Ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. I've asked for as I was best friends with a flippy that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman cake starting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kinda sounds fun. I sure I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, oh. The train started moving! It's so fast, Grandma, or something. What is going on? I'm slipping. Hold on. I, I can't. Uh, uh, no. The wing to have attacked the train. You're both awake. Yeah? Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. Yeah, I, you'd figure that they'd have something fixed to, to like, how, like they have figured that out. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Enter name. Could he get the door? Of course. Hmm. Seems the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen chef a whack with your- <coughs> Trickage, please! Hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. No, I mean, she's hiding something. Huh? Suppose she did wake up before. Something could have happened. Or, I don't know, maybe she didn't bring the, the, the weapon onto the train because... 
I mean, I mean, come on. It's a post-Station Square event world. We need to be, like, careful with who brings what onto their trains. Come on. The only people who are allowed to have weapons on this train are the clans of hell. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Yeah, you know, Holmes and Watson, uh, that guy from Murder the Rue Morgue, and that the narrator, Columbo and his dog. So I, Detective you and, um... Hmm. He, you know, Detective you didn't have a sidekick, and he was pretty good of a detective. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence, interrogate, got it. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our pay gets so well taken care of. Understood. Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Hmm. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Enderman, look closely at this. I wonder how the side of this shelf got smashed. It looks like someone took a bite out of it. Like me. There's nothing in the shelf... There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Wait. Anyway, do not examine the crack on the shelf with my dental records, please. The wet forest line, pe keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Oh, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Also well, thought the council, I suppose. Yeah, why, why is she looking at the spoon? Let's figure that out. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out. On a train. I'll keep looking. Are any clues yet? Ah. There's gotta be another way out of here. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this? I'll get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use late. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. That's sad. Hmm. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Obviously, the optimism is something that rots out of you over time. Aha! What's this, a rod? Mmm. Tip is broken. Looks to have originally been attached to something. Not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is out of your inventory. I think we found out the clues. Let's interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. 
I, I've figured out what happened. Amy, a spoon is not going to fix your hammer. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here, it's just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? could have attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Internet and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Other name, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that's been deduced, we must form or argue it to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves, attempt what proves Amy attempted to escape the dining hall closet? What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something and fell over? Damage makes sense. You have no argument here, you're grasping. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? Oh, see, I, uh, well, am I getting stumped? I like to think, what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's forced to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad things. He'd never lose. <laughs> well... I wouldn't say that just yet, and especially not after, you know, the first part of the stream. Like, like an endless runner game, I play a lot of those on my phone. Are they sure? Whatever works. Oh, enter name, buddy. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback, like Sonic would do. Uh, oh, whoa! Hey, yeah, yeah, there it is, it's the Chaos and light bulb. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage here was before we arrived? Well, I, I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. He just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was that shelf hit with then? What is it, a stick? I really believe a stick could do this kind of damage. Hmm. What would Sonic do in this case? I know, collect rings so he can get a fucking light bulb. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own, but if it's attached to something it could, like, let's say... a hammer? Ah! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, uh. This is about the set. I tried to get us out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. Figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. Never expected your hammer to snap like that. It's one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I battle as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. And fixed. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. I right, stand back. Shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We're free. Great job. Let's get out of here. Alright. Hmm. Wait. Is that... It can't be. <laughs> 
is annoying. Someone murdered my darling Sonic. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Uh-oh. Sonic? Yeah. Buddy, no. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. Just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuinely? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense the pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, entertain. What do I do? You need to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich! So I'll leave their care to you, and to name my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! He didn't say that. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails to get to the bottom of this. Even this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. And... Title drop. Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. It says it right there on the tin, baby. I don't understand what's going on here. Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, hey Tails, where are you? Editing, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Oh yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? And we need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Uh, can I tag along? If you don't mind, it's cool. Yeah, oh, of course, sure. Now if I ever need a snack, you got me. Eh, fair. As I said, the best detectives are sidekick, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lower card? The last guy to work a case with me to start practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Ye varmint, what are ye all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that Amy mosey through and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help establish your alibi and... Nope, nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems like we're on our own. Enter me. We just need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues, and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Amacho. Hate to see them like this. But they do. Medical malpractice. Interesting. Breathtaking views. The stream passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easy. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters. I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. Oh, oh, shit, they got a fucking noise game. 
clearly won't be able- oh wait, no, it's Super Monkey Ball. We won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches. Who could have done that? What are you two looking at me for? Smashed Arcade is added to your inventory. Hmm, what's in the trash? Something's always in hidden in the trash! This one is empty as well. Starting to think your theory about something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. This is as they say one man's trash is another man's treasure. Haha. <laughs> or a horrifically dismembered body. I think Tails is ignoring me. Enter name. This is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles is really thirsty? Enter name. This one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added to the inventory. I think we found enough clues. No, I don't, I don't think we have. I barely... The robotic arms here are really helpful. What's the arm doing to my hair? Fix it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh-oh, should I feel her from my job a little bit? How well can it micro- <laughs> Oh no, type topical. Hmm, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Kinda bland. Huh. Seems like someone licked all the salt off of them. Or maybe they're just unsalted. Howdy, partners! Spittoon free establishment. Visit Col Coliseum Highway Zone. Oh, that's funny. The door is locked tight. We can't go any. But. But it. You can just go under it. How is Amy able to leave? Good point. When were these doors locked, and how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. Then I told you to leave me alone. Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. Bruise easily too, because it wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I fight you. Sorry, Hunter Damon, wish you luck. It's not actually going to fight me, right? Uh, uh, can I take your order? Not hungry. Oh, well, you're alright, let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Hunter Damon, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, I like a butler. Excellent, thank you, butler. Dang it. I like your hat. Mm -hmm. Knuckles are blushing. Said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Can you just adjust your hat a bit so we can see it better? I said leave. Knuckles and her name and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you buzz off, you're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence too. We do? Hey, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? It's obvious! The arcade machine? <laughs> what makes you think I touched it? Oh no! Oh, the... I'm- oh, I'm not making it through this one, lads. Oh, uh, well, uh, you see, we have no argument here. You are weak. Ouch. And her name, let's follow that train of thought again. Alright, there we go. 
got the rungus. Ringongas. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles can clearly touch the arcade machine because... The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. However, in see that the damage is punches. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. Now will you- I'm on it, enter name to strike Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it- oh fuck. I'm done. Tails, get away from that guy. Try again. Have to get spot the monk. There we go. That's the proper amount of ringongies, isn't it, Samara? Yeah, okay, but she is fixed. Oh, don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now! Okay, what does this tell us? <laughs> One point! One point! Nothing, obviously. Tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. The picture's beginning to be painted here. Competed with Vector to see who got the highest score and Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. It... it, it it, it says it on the thing, Nukales. I don't think Knuckles knows how to read. Now under name what proves Vector was here with Knuckles. Uh oh. It, it, uh, it, it, it's his name. Why would why, why would Vector wear lipstick? Come on, Samaroid. Yeah, I knew it. You're both talking out of your bum. What evidence? Ah, uh, okay. Alright. No. If I was strange, there's more than one cup sitting next to you. Oh yeah, there's three. There's three of them. He's supposed to be participating in the murder mystery. You in fact are enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's I'm it's not like it's not I wasn't don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, but it oh What's the matter, Samara? Did you do it? Are you the murderer? Are you objection? Are you having objections that you aren't the murderer? You want to be the murderer? That makes sense. Does he say Vector popped in at the top of the hour? Top of the hour every hour with his 60 second ad break. Wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he passed me, I destroyed the machine, and no proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in on us, they didn't want me caught. And that's my story now, and I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. What of the cup with the lipstick mark? Versions in here too. 
It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something that failed, made fun of our game, and left. Nox just that one. But he offered her to drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that- Samara, please! Happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited play games. Rouge couldn't find something left. Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quest. Actually, it's not everything, is it, new colleagues? I want to step back to something. You know, one more thing, Knuckles. One more name on that high score list. It doesn't make sense. Hit her name, could you take a look one more time? The odd name on the high score list, what is Tails talking about? A whole toast. Apple, bread, old Tim, bagel, can It's... it's old Tim. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by old Tim? You may not know in her name, but there is someone here that goes by the title, The Ultimate Life Form. There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by who does it, but Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. Y'all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Oh! And Samara's giving us her thoughts. What's the matter, huh? What's the matter, kiddo? Oh, you're demanding that the stream ends now? Alright, Toll locked the door, not open for anyone, then he left. Except for Amy. When Vector was leaving, locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through you not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No. I think she has some sort of key view. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? He's supposed to be doing the opposite. What was we searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You don't have to find them and ask with yourselves. More information than I expect to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe you're restoring new colleagues. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough, we briarly open the lock. Give whoever's chaos Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. We'll do, Sheriff, come on, enter me. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving ch chili dogs. Enter name. Come in. Hmm. I have been at this for a while, and while I could keep going, Theoretically, there is someone screaming at me. And she is very insistent. So I'm just going to probably call it here. Sorry, Dylan, that you just came in and I'm calling an end to the stream. Because where? So, uh, yeah, the next time gonna finish this game up, and I'm gonna try working around on the fucking thing, so I'm actually gonna have to play Sonic Chronic the Dark Bronic. Yes, Samara, it's a terrible idea, but I'm doing it. He's dead. And so is this stream. Unless Samara has one more thing to say. Samara, 
Do you want the stream to end so I can go over and snuggle with you for a bit? She said, yeah. Sorry, guys. Stream's over for now. Uh. Uh.